What's up guys, this is HeadChef157. Today's gameplay is going to be some Battlefield 3. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The video. It doesn't look like complete shit! <laughs> if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys would know that my HDP VR 2 came in the mail a couple days ago, and I love this thing. Not only is there, you know, the obvious boost in the video quality, but it's just so much easier to record, and the files are so much more compressed. Just everything about this device is better than my previous method of recording. It's faster, easier, takes up less space, and is better quality. This is probably one of the best purchases I've made in a long time. Anyway, this is some Gunmaster gameplay. I end up tearing it up this game, and I'm in first place for most of the game. But then I get stuck on the L86A2, and from there it just goes completely downhill. I won't even talk about the sniper rifle, my god. I'm gonna end up speeding through that gameplay so you don't have to see me fail too much, but count how many times I miss shots. It's pretty bad. But what I want to talk about today is if you guys ever remember when you used to be the kid that played video games all the time, you know, it was considered nerdy, it was stupid, it was a waste of time, everybody else was playing football or soccer or some kind of sport, and you were looked upon as this, like, no-lifing little puddle of mush, and, I mean, for real, I got some really big backlash, at least to where I went to school, as how much time I spent playing video games and how I was so good at them. Basically, the title gamer also meant no-lifing, and that's completely changed now. And now it seems like everybody calls themselves a gamer. And I'm talking, these are like football players and basketball players and soccer players and stuff like that. And you know, more recently it's picked up. You end up with all these people starting pre-ordering all these games. And next thing you know, there's jocks talking about Assassin's Creed 3 in class. And you're just like, what the hell is going on? And I swear to you, every single person I know is going to the Black Ops 2 midnight release at their local GameStop. It's ridiculous. And like I said before, I don't have any arguments against that. I'm not trying to be like, oh, all these people call themselves gamers. I'm elitist. It's just really crazy to me that less than a year ago, people knew that I had a YouTube channel where I had video game gameplay, and people were like, oh, that's fucking stupid. And now, people come to me at school, and they act like I'm some kind of god. I'm like the go-to guy. People ask me about Assassin's Creed 3. It's like, hey, Chris, you know you're picking up Assassin's Creed 3. Dude, I'm so psyched for that. And it's just the weirdest thing how that's changed. And the number one example of how everyone's a gamer now is I have teachers. Yeah, that's plural, not just that one teacher that plays video games. I have multiple teachers. Almost all of the male teachers I have are really avid gamers. I have a teacher that plays Lord of the Rings Online and World of Warcraft. I have a teacher that plays League of Legends. I have a teacher that plays Modern Warfare 3. And I know a priest that plays Halo Reach. It's just insane to even think about, BOOM HEADSHOT! EAT IT FATHER DAN! Praise Jesus. And I'm not saying that any of this is a bad thing, I actually see it as a very good thing. It's awesome that all these people from all different walks of life can come together and play video games together. That's amazing! That's all I could ever ask for. Just my only problem is with the people that say, Oh my god, just spent five hours in a row playing Angry Birds MLG Pro! No. No. If you play any kind of game on iOS or Android and consider yourself to be a pro gamer, you are the definition of stupidity. If you play Facebook games or go on websites like OMG Pop and say that you're a gamer, congratulations, you've reached the lowest level of humanity possible. And most importantly, if you come up to me with your iPad and wave it in my face showing me your 1.2 million score on Temple Run, you're going to get punched in the face. And I do not care how many five stars you have in Tap Tap Revenge for Christ's sake. Alright, I'm gonna stop myself there before I go completely insane. I think you guys get my point. In short, being a gamer, which used to be considered almost taboo, is becoming very widespread and popular. And I see that as being an awesome thing, but people need to know their boundaries. You don't need to be going around telling other people that they suck and posting screenshots of your iPad on Facebook showing your score in your favorite App Store game. No one cares! And just one little update before I close out this video. Vlogs, coming soon, to this channel. Not saying what's gonna be in them, I'm gonna let that be a surprise. But I will promise you that it's not gonna be me in front of a camera going, Hey guys, uh, today I wanna talk about, uh, my political views on the presidential election for 2012. No, none of that boring bullshit. You will be entertained, you will like them, vlogs coming soon. Alright, so that's everything I wanted to say for today. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, remind you to comment, like, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. You would have known about the whole HDPVR2 thing about a week in advance, and I'm starting to post pictures and videos of just random stuff that goes on during my day, and it's a little bit more personal me than just this face that I have for YouTube. So follow me on Twitter and stay updated, but for now, I'll see you guys next video.